We are deep in the Amazon jungle right now. this out <laughs> this place is so cool we are in the middle of, of the amazon the amazon we're like <laughs> i'm freaking out this is amazing where are we right now this is <laughs> insane we just got here like five minutes ago and we're both just losing we're our minds we're freaking out this it might be so because awesome. it was a long day but like this is just um, this is amazing wow this is gonna be a fun few days i i'm I'm kind of speechless. <laughs> So let me tell you a little bit about where we are. We took a bus from Quito all the way to the Cuyabana Reserve and it was like eight hours. It felt like we were going into the middle of nowhere. And then we took a boat for another two hours. We went through the rivers of the Amazon and it was absolutely incredible we saw so much wildlife we actually even saw pink dolphins like right away like literally straight on the boat to the lodge we're not even at the lodge yet incredible then we ended up on the lagoon of Cuyabeno and we ended up at the Cuyabeno Lodge which is where we're staying for this week so the Cuyabeno Lodge was started by biologists of course because there's just so much wildlife here it's the perfect spot and then eventually people started just coming here for just to enjoy the Amazon. And so that's what we're doing this week. And the Cuyabeno Lodge does this very sustainably because actually all of the staff here are from the communities in the area. And even some of them are from the indigenous communities as well, like our boat driver, Tomas. And they also do things sustainably in terms of energy as well. There's solar power here and they use a waste filtration system, which is then composted. And they're just very keen on just preserving the environment, which of course you have to be when you're located in the Amazon like this. And we really wanted to get a proper Amazon experience, like deep in the jungle. And we could have done a little bit of Amazon in like uh, Puyo or Tena in Ecuador. But that's really like just on the edge. And we really wanted to get deep into the Amazon just like we are here in Cuyabeno. Okay, I seriously never want to leave this place. This is our bed. Nice little curtain. And then, wow. How is this real? Look at all this, just right in the jungle. So the great thing about going on a tour with one of these lodges here is they have a full itinerary booked for you every single day that you're here. So right now we're about to go on a boat tour and try to see what animals we can see. Okay, so we've just started our river tour. And there's two different types of monkeys. There's some woolly monkeys on this side. And on the other side, just up here, there's some squirrel monkeys as well. I'm so excited about the squirrel monkeys because they were like my favorite monkeys when I was a kid.
That was crazy. That was wild. <sighs> we just took a boat into the canals and we saw so much stuff. Yeah, even just on the way there. Yeah. And then we hopped in a canoe and then we had to canoe <laughs> all the way back to our lodge. It took us like four hours. <laughs> Yeah, I look like a crazy person. So that's right why we can yeah. we can really take a lot of like videos of ourselves. <laughs> yeah. But we saw it was so cool. so many different monkeys. Like we yeah. saw four different species, right? Yeah. Yeah, we saw the woolly monkey, the squirrel monkey, the sacky monkey, and a red howler monkey. Yeah, so that was like cool. from the far, but it was apparently that's the biggest monkey in the country. Yeah. So so far in 20, 24 hours, we've seen yeah. fifty percent of the monkey the, species, the monkey species that yeah. are in the Amazon, which is so cool. Incredible. It was amazing, and so many of the spots we were going in these like really narrow, only like a, maybe a yeah. foot wider than our canoe, yeah. we're just going throughout <laughs> all the branches. Oh, it was so amazing. Amazing, so beautiful. But we're very tired, so yeah. time, it's time for to some lunch. Eat some food. So ready, sir. Yeah, get there. Try not to look like a real mounted police with my big knees sticking out. It's a good call. I don't want to look that Canadian. All right, on to the next thing. We're gonna go hiking through the jungle. We're gonna go find a puma. Let's go find some puma. Pumas. hiking into one of the forests on the reserve here near Cuyabana Lodge and this place is so diverse it's insane apparently on this one hectare of land there is 473 types of trees that is mind-blowing diversity so crazy but apparently the soil is actually terrible because it's all clay so none of the indigenous communities have settled in this forest because you can't actually cultivate anything so how the trees all grow is there's actually all these mushrooms underneath that will absorb nutrients and they kind of have a symbiotic relationship with the trees so that the trees can gra gather nutrients from them. Also, we find that all the, the roots are really high. So, <laughs> so that's what I'm trying not to, not to trip on them because they have to keep their roots as close to the surface as possible to gather as much nutrients as they can. So this forest is just so beautiful. We're really excited to see what we see. <laughs> Speaking of mushrooms, this white stuff on this branch of this tree is actually mushroom. So it lives on there and in trade, it also gives nutrients to the, to the tree, which is unreal. It's so cool. It doesn't look like mushrooms at all. And? So he's kind of lemony. They're <laughs> like, so these ants, they eat off of this tree and they get all like the sugar out of it and then they make this acid which is kind of what the, the lemony taste is but it's also the reason why this tree is so clear all the way around it because these ants they'll spray the acid around so that none of the other plants will grow so then this tree just basically just grows on its own symbiosis yeah and they taste good <laughs> What do you see? Everything. I can see everything with binoculars. Muchas gracias. Oh my goodness. Oh. One of the best things about Cuyabano is that every time you come off the boat, they have 
some lemonade ready for you. And it's perfect. Perfectly mixed. Man, every tour we go on here is so wild. I can't get over it. My favorite part about every tour, whether it's on the boat or by land, and whether we're looking at plants or animals, is that our guide is always sharing about the local indigenous communities, their culture, their history with these animals and plants, how they're currently using them, different traditions they have in the area. It's just really awesome. I love learning about all that stuff as we're just exploring the Amazon. So after waiting out some crazy rain, <laughs> we're on our next boat tour and we're gonna go find some dolphins, hopefully. So we saw some pink dolphins on our way into Cuyabeno, but this time I think we're gonna have a chance to actually stick around and try and film a little bit more than what we already have, so. I'm so excited. Oh, this is I gonna be so awesome. Dolphins, <laughs> so I'm pumped. Was insane that was so cool i love seeing those pink dolphins but when you see it from the drone above oh man that was just amazing i could do that all day it's night time <laughs> we're getting ready to go on a night tour which is one of the most classic Amazon things that you need to do, apparently. So we're very excited to go. I don't know what we're gonna see. Apparently we're gonna search for some caimans and some maybe some anacondas, I'm not totally sure. But anyways, it's gonna be cool. There's a snake right here.
So this is the reason we don't go close to the water. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, don't swim here. Don't swim by the edge, by the shorts. <laughs> like behind us we had stopped and there was a couple of bubbles like kind of moving behind us and our boat driver's like we gotta go it's like what was in the water <laughs> with this nice sunset. Ready? Time to swim with the anacondas. Woo! Oh, it's so nice. All right, dive. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> We're swimming in the freaking Amazon. With the caiman <laughs> and the anacondas. <laughs> I always gotta make it weird. <laughs> you know they're in here. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> oh. That's incredible. Oh, it's cold. The top is really warm. Yeah. The bottom is not warm. For cramp. For cramp. Woo! Well, just like that, our time in the Amazon has come to an end. Aw, five days and it went so fast. Yeah. We saw so many cool things. We're so tired. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> But it, it well, oh man, I will never forget this experience. Yeah, this, it was unbelievable. Yeah, this is definitely the best thing we've done in Ecuador so far. 
I would say flying to Ecuador just to do this yeah. tour would have been worth it. 100%. It was so amazing. It's incredible. So definitely, like, if you're going to come to the Amazon, you really want to do it right. Like we said, like, you can go to, like, Puyo or Tena in Ecuador, but that's really, like, the edge of the Amazon. Mm -hmm. You really want to go deep into the Amazon like we have at the Cuyabana Lodge. Yeah, so make sure you come to Cuyabana Reserve. Yeah. Then you can see all of these different animals that you wouldn't be able to see just on the edge. Um, yeah, make sure you come for as many days as you can. Yeah. Most places have four or five day tours. Yeah. We came for five days, four nights, and highly recommend. It is definitely worth the extra day, because especially because you travel so far out yeah. here, and and we just saw so much every day we totally. were here. Totally, I'm still trying to like, I'm gonna be trying to wrap my head around what we've seen <laughs> for like the next couple of weeks. Like yeah. this is, it was just incredible. Like we constantly were seeing wildlife and different types of just di biodiversity in general. Like all these different trees and plants and bugs and animals. And it's very immersive it's, experience. It's a very immersive experience. And if you really, if you're I don't know if, if you're really into like cameras and stuff, but bring a camera, <laughs> yeah. bring some binoculars. Like it's way more interactive if you, if you have some, than just an iPhone. Like, you, you know, we tried to take some videos and stuff with our phones and it just like, doesn't do it justice. not at all. And so, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, this is just incredible. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, we cannot recommend this place enough if you haven't We're noticed. We're still kind of speechless. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's Honestly, just incredible. It is just so cool. But yeah, unfortunately, we have to leave. We have a two-hour boat ride yeah. back out to the edge of the reserve and then a seven-hour yeah, drive seven back to Quito. So mm -hmm. make sure you subscribe to our channel if you want yeah. to see more of our adventures. Right. We are going next to the Galapagos. That's right. So from one crazy oh. thing to next. <laughs> Um, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that footage. Yeah. Like this video if you liked it, mm -hmm. and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, and big shout out to our guide Mauricio and our boat driver Tomas. Very helpful, very knowledgeable, and uh, very good at their job. So thank you very much, and thank you to Guyabena Lodge for having us for this week. We just want to get <laughs> some documentation. A oh, true videographer, photographer. This is the life. Instagram, YouTube, general life, Binox. Day in the life. Classic Sarah, just getting stuck in the plant. I'm becoming one with the jungle. Give me that thing. My goodness. The risk of the job. All right. I don't even understand. I almost got stuck again. <sighs> now it probably looks